Dr. Preeta George from the Department of Physics, Dr. MTR Educational and Research Institute University. Today, I am going to introduce the topic Newton String with Virtual Lab. Newton String is a topic which comes under Unit 3 Wave Optics of Engineering Physics Syllabi of uh, Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute University. So let me give a small introduction of Newton's ring. Newton's ring is a phenomenon in which interference pattern is created by the reflection of light between two surfaces, a spherical surface and an adjacent flat surface. This was first observed by Sir Isaac Newton. Due to the interference pattern, alternate dark and bright fringes are produced. The apparatus used for this experiment shows converging lens, a glass plate, a combination of plano convex lens and a glass plate, and a traveling microscope. Procedure. So before we start the procedure, let me give the short description of the apparatus which is used. So here in this, you can see only a traveling microscope and a combination of the plano convex lens and a glass plate. And in the right hand side, you can see there are options which is given. You can choose the medium. There are different options. Now I have chosen the option as air, the light source as the sodium vapor lamp. The radius of lens can be adjusted then microscope position can be adjusted, the focus can be adjusted. So first turn the sodium vapor lamp on, place a planar convex lens and focus the lens with a traveling microscope. So you can adjust the traveling microscope using these two screws. Traveling microscope has two scales, the main scale reading and the vernier scale reading. How will you take the main scale divisions or readings? The zero coincidence, you can take it as the main scale reading. And uh, how will you take the Vernier scale? Which Vernier scale division is exactly coinciding with the division in the main scale? You can consider it as the uh, Vernier scale coincidence or Vernier scale reading. And you can see the concentric circles which is produced in the field of view of the telescope. So. Uh, the alternate dark and bright fringes are produced. See, you can see this is the, uh, you can take it as, the rings can be calculated as 2, 4, 6 like that. Likewise, you can adjust it for the right hand side also. The screen can be adjusted using this radius of the lens. And the crossfire of the telescope should coincide with the uh, ring. Uh, which reading which you want to take so can be adjusted like this now i have kept it for the two four six eight tenth ring so this is the tenth uh, reading or tenth dark circle or the fringe which is observed in the left hand side like that you can move the scale to the right right, right hand side also you can take the reading and the difference between the reading in the left and the right hand side will give them fringe width the fringe width can be calculated using the formula beta so beta is equal to you can if you are taking it as the 10th fringe you can the formula will go like this beta is equal to n plus 10 minus n so use using this you can calculate the fringe width and again you can calculate the wavelength of the light also used so if you are using the sodium vapor lamp you will get the result for the sodium vapor lamp when a parallel beam of light is incident on the combination of the planar convex lens, a part of light is reflected from the lower surface and part of it is reflected from the plane surface. These two reflected rays interfere and produce a system of the concentric dark and bright fringes. So this is the, uh, this is the method to find out the Newton's ring experiment and you can find out the a formula for the lambda as dn plus 10 the whole square minus dn square by 4nr. I repeat the formula to calculate lambda. Lambda is equal to dn plus 10 the whole square minus dn square by 4nr where small n the denominator small n is the integers and the capital R is the radius of the curvature of the lens.
so we can take for both the left and the right hand sides and you can calculate the wavelength of the light used this experiment has the application to find out the wavelength of the light used and it can you can calculate the fringe width also when so if you are giving the show result and show result and put the result you will get the wavelength of the light used thank you